Teacher Shell Learning Resource Channel. Let's read story with comprehension check. Fishing for Memories On a warm summer day, Joanne was going fishing with her grandmother. They climbed into a small boat and rowed out onto the water. Joanne studied the waves all around her, looking for a giant fish to catch. You have to be patient when you go fishing, Joanne's grandmother cautioned. Can you be patient, Joanne? I'm going to catch all the fish in this pond, responded Joanne confidently. There won't be a single one left, Grandma. Joan's grandmother smiled, shook her head, and handed Joan a fishing rod. Joan quickly cast her line into the water. There's no bait on your line, her grandmother said. Even if there was, you'd still have to wait. Today is about enjoying our time together and relaxing on the water. You don't have to catch everything in the pond. Joanne scowled, reeled her fishing line back in, and placed a piece of her turkey sandwich on the hook. Then, she cast her line back into the water. Joanne heard her grandmother chuckle as she leaned over the side of their boat and stared into the pond. She tried to see how far down her sandwich had traveled and whether any fish were nibbling on it. However, the water was too murky, and Joanne didn't feel anything tagging on the end of her fishing line. After a few minutes, a frustrated Joanne sighed in disappointment and leaned back in her grandmother's boat. Her grandmother had been watching Joanne. Now she pointed to the sky and said, Do you see the bird flying up there? That bird is an osprey, her grandmother said. Ospreys catch fish, too. Joanne watched as the osprey flew in a big circle and then suddenly swooped down to pluck a fish from the water. Joanne and her grandmother spoke about how it would feel to fly like a bird. Then they talked about the first time her grandmother flew in an airplane a long time ago. She was about Joanne's age at the time and was going to school, just like Joanne was now. Joanne and her grandma spoke about Joanne's school and what grandma's school was like. In some ways, their schools were different, but in some ways, they were the same. Boys were naughty then, too. Joanne and her grandmother laughed at the stories they shared. Joanne was telling her grandma about something that had happened last week at her school assembly. When her grandmother interrupted her, 
Joanne, look, your rod is bending. Joanne reeled in her line. She had caught a fish. A fish that was hungry for a turkey sandwich. Later that night, Joanne thought about her day. But she didn't think about the fish or the turkey sandwich. She thought about the funny stories her grandmother had told her. Your turn to read, kids.
Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. Number 1. What activity was Joanne doing with her grandmother? A. Baking cookies B. Going fishing C. Planting flowers You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, going fishing Number 2 What did Joanne initially claim she would do while fishing? A. Catch all the fish B. Relax and enjoy the sin Letter C. Share her sandwich with the fish You're right, the correct answer is letter A, catch all the fish. Number 3. Why did Joanne's grandmother point out the osprey flying in the sky? A. To distract Joanne from fishing. B. To teach Joanne about different birds. C. To show Joanne how to catch fish. You're right, the correct answer is letter C to show Joanne how to catch fish. Number 4. What did Joanne and her grandmother talk about while fishing? A. Joanne's favorite TV shows. B. Joanne's school and her grandmother's school experiences. C. Joanne's plans for the summer. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, Joanne's school and her grandmother's school experiences. Number 5. How did Joanne react when her grandmother pointed out her rod bending? A. She ignored it. B. She reeled in her line excitedly. C. She asked her grandmother to reel it in for her. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, she reeled in her line excitedly. Number 6. What did Joanne catch with her fishing rod? A. A sandwich. B. A bird. C. A fish. You're right, the correct answer is letter C, a fish. Number 7. What did Joanne think about later that night? A. Her fishing skills. B. The funny stories her grandmother told her. C. What she wanted for dinner the next day. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, the funny stories her grandmother told her Number 8 Why did Joanne's grandmother tell her to look at her fishing rod? A. To show her how to cast the line properly B. To teach her about different fish species C. To alert her that she had caught something You're right, the correct answer is letter C to alert her that she had caught something. Number 9. What did Joanne learn from her fishing experience? A. Patience and appreciation for nature. B. How to catch fish easily. C. How to tell funny stories.
You're right. The correct answer is letter A, patience and appreciation for nature. How many scores did you get? Well, that's a good job. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified on our next episodes. Goodbye, kids!